Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recover a Gmail account without two-step verification. Before we start, hurry up and check out the self purchase under this video. So let's get started. So we all know that two-step verification is something really helpful here, especially if you want to basically secure your account. But in some cases, and due to unfortunate events, you might lose access to the two-step or the device that you've had, or in this case, the a way of you accessing the two-step verification that you've set on your Facebook account. So you might have lost that. How do you recover your Gmail account here? So, so first thing we want to do here is we first want to access our, in this case, any device that we can lock in into our, uh, in this case, our Gmail account. In this case, I'm going to open up uh, my Gmail here and I want to go ahead and click on uh, my profile icon at the top right here. Now, by the way, if you don't have any accounts uh, installed yet or uh, logged in yet in this device, you'll see or immediately see the login page. But again, if you have other accounts here, you just need to access your profile icon at the top right and just click on add another account. In this case, let's go and choose Google here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to confirm our PIN. So let's just confirm our PIN here. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to fill out the necessary information. So first, let's go and enter our email or our phone number. So in this case, let's go and enter my email here. And let's go and click on next. Now, the next thing you want to do here is you want to enter your password. Now, this one is still necessary. So go ahead and enter your password here. Now, once you've entered your account here or your password here, it's going to say two-step verification here. In this case, as you can see, I have multiple ways of basically logging in or verifying my login here. So I can use my, or in this case, my tablet or in this case, my phone to basically verify that this is me logging in. I could also use a security code or a verification code via the phone number that I have or even use a passkey here if you set that up. So the thing here is if you lose access in one of the following tools of verification methods here, in this case, you won't be able to log in. But if you click on the get help button here, it should redirect you to another page, which in this case, it's going to say user fingerprint face or screen lock. So for example, if you've set up your uh, fingerprint face or screen lock in this phone before, you could actually use that to lock in. So in this case, you could also use a, for example, your uh, QR code before your screen lock here. So you could scan the QR code that you want to use. So, but in this case, this is going to be a pass key. But then again, if you doesn't, if you haven't set up pass key into your account, you won't be able to use it. It's going to say no pass key available. Like in this case, a mine. So in this case, it's going to be uh, it's going to say no pass key available. Now. The thing here is you also have another way for you to sign uh, sign in. So at the bottom left, you have the try another way. So go ahead and click on it. Now from here, it should redirect you to another page, which in this case, you now have the option to get verification codes from alternate email address that you've actually, uh, in this case, added into your account. So we all know that whenever you're setting up your Google account or your Gmail account online, it's going to ask you uh, to give like our recovery email just in case you lose access on your account. So in this case, you could either use one of the following options here. So in this case, you could either get the verification code from the following Gmail account or your other Gmail account here, the uh, second row section. So depending on how many emails, uh, or in this case, uh, verification goes, uh, code that you've got, you should be able to access them in here. So in this case, you go and click on the appropriate one here. Let's go and choose this one. And from here, it's going to send, uh, send a verification code to your email here. And you just need to check that and basically uh, use that uh, verification code to log in into your account. So since this is account recovery, they might ask you to update some information once you've logged in. But in this case, you could go ahead and just enter your recovery code here. So in this case, once you've actually entered the uh, verification code from your other email, it's going to say a sign in link will be sent to your other email account for you to sign in. In this case, I have actually added, like for example, I've already added, uh, uh, I've already received that email. So let's go ahead and go back here. So in this case, as you can see right now, it's going to send me a a sign in link to my account in 24 hours. So this might take a while. So in this case, you just need to wait for 24 hours. 
So, in this case, just check it after a few hours. And if you do see a link from Google themselves, go ahead and click on that link. And you should be able to log in into your account. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.